Hey guys, uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. I'm excited, uh, another Instagram Live interview, uh, this time uh, with, a, with a guy that I've, I've run into over the years from, uh, let's see, the, the set of It to San Diego Comic-Con. Oh man, when was the last time I saw him? I think it was like honestly an elevator in, in Las Vegas for uh, an event called CinemaCon. So yeah, if you have any questions, by the way, for uh, Mr. Finn Wolfhard, uh, please uh, let me know. There is a question box uh, at the bottom. So be sure to uh, submit your questions that way. So let's just, uh, let's see, where is he? There are so many people. Uh, here we go. Okay. Bring him on. Finn, uh, Finn Wolfhard, everybody. Yes. Yes. What's up, man? How are you, pal? I'm so good. Good to see you. It's been a while. It's been a bit. How's it I know. Been? I, I, I saw it. Yeah, it was like, oh, everything's good. Yeah. If, what was the last time we saw each other? It was Las Vegas, right? I think it was briefly in Las Vegas. Super brief. Like, I was like, okay, bye. And it was just like super brief. You've yeah. Been busy, though. How, how's the quarantine hair going? You, you haven't cut it It's good. Yet? It's like, it's very like long and like, are you, what do you, yeah, you gotta, you gotta grow it out too. Dude, I know. This is insane. It's coming it's down. Look at that. Look at that volume. Look, I got, oh, I got a joke. Yeah. Are you, where, are you back, are you in Toronto? Yeah, we're, I'm in Toronto, yeah. Are you in Vancouver? Yeah, yeah. So what's Canadian the, boys. What's the situation out there, man? I know Toronto's, uh, the park benches have just been reopened. We can now sit in public again. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's stuff starting to open up, right, Dan? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's starting to get better for sure. This so weekend, six people can hang Six out. people can hang out now together oh no way yeah oh toronto yeah there we go oh cur dog yeah curran who uh if you guys watch uh, titans uh yeah that's current it's robin on titans right there oh sick that's pretty cool man what have you been doing what have you been watching buddy you've been watching a lot of stuff you've been binging? i just yeah i just started um i just started watching succession yesterday Thoughts? have you seen that have you seen that, uh, that no, show heard, yeah it's good yeah it's it's on hbo it's really it's it's very it's pretty sickening actually, but it's great in the best way possible. It's just yeah. about this like super rich mogul family and how they just love to tear each other down. Um, but it's also like really it's I don't know it's funny it's really funny too. So yeah, I started watching that and then like um, yeah I don't know I've been watching like a lot of old movies too and like nice. I got the Criterion Channel so it's just been oh. like yeah Take yeah the old stuff nice yeah yeah. So that's been good. Were you, is this, was this supposed to be your graduation year? Yeah. So what's the deal? What's happening, man? I guess it's like, I guess they're pushing it uh, a year, something like that. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, everyone, everyone's going to end up, what's, you know, like going to, yeah. you know, university and stuff. Like, you know, my classmates are going to university. So I wonder how that'll go. But yeah, it's good. It's going to be like, like um, Billy Madison. You're going to have to go back to go back and finish. Ex high school oh my God. <laughs> that, that would be a dream of mine actually is to be really? the next. No, no, not at all. But no, I would, I would, I, I, I no, I'm so happy to be out of school, but uh, no, it'd be great. To, uh, yeah. It'd be great to be, to be Adam Sandler, but uh yeah. Do you see Anka Gems? I have. I was pretty. pretty it's I an insane it. movie. I wanted a Furby medallion after that. Uh, I know crazy. they. They just. They. I guess A twenty four was just auctioning off props, oh. and I think, I think they auctioned the Furby for like thirty thousand dollars or something like that. Oh damn! Yeah. Oh, oh. So jealous. I. What were you? I so were you working on stuff when this all went down? Like I guess go, is Ghostbusters yeah. finished? Ghostbusters. Yeah, Ghostbusters is done. Okay. It was supposed to come out. I haven't seen it yet, but it was supposed to come out July. Yeah. Okay. Um. But uh, you, it's getting pushed. So yeah, it's getting pushed to next March. Um. But I'm excited to see that. But yeah, so that was done, and then we were in the middle of Stranger Things four. Mm -hmm. So uh, and then that got put on hold, like a bunch of stuff. So, um. But we are like getting pretty good into it. We've got some like really good stuff so far. So I'm um, I'm happy yeah. that like we actually like like uh, like ended up getting stuff instead of like because some shows just started and just didn't didn't film. But 
Can you um, can you say anything about four? I heard people talking online that we might not even be in Hawkins anymore. We might be somewhere else. Can we even? Say yeah, anything? there's like there's yeah there's a new there's a new location. Um, Hopper is in Hopper's in a new location. Um, yeah, there's like they put out a trailer that's really really sick. Um, and it's like snowing and he's like you know doing hard labor. Um, so I'm excited you know to see what happens with that, but. Yeah, I don't know. Four, four should be four is really incredible. I'm like very, very proud of it so far. I mean, I you know we haven't even really dug deep into it at all, but and it's so crazy that you in Stranger Things like literally cosplayed as a Ghostbuster. And then... Yeah, well, that was the reason why I, I I thought that I wasn't going to get the part because of that. Oh really? Um, where the part the part in Ghostbusters because of that because I was like, well, they're gonna see my tape and they're gonna be like, oh, he already did it. Like he already whatever i got he already did it or yeah. whatever in the uh but then yeah i guess they like my tape enough to cuz i guess it's such it's a very kind of different character than the character i play in stranger things so um but uh i mean cuz i just play more of like a big brother in in ghostbusters so uh yeah i, I don't know it was it was pretty uh, awesome i'm sure stranger things helped uh a fair bit but uh definitely gave me a, a leg up but yeah i'm i'm really excited for it and the trailer it's just so awesome um, well i i don't like it's, it's a strange thing you, know, you dress up with something you you become it so i this this may take the interview in a different direction but i've never showed you this before uh 20 2016 halloween okay this is me this is me and my wife kelsey oh yeah dude i feel like didn't you show me that look at that man Wow. That is so sick. I made that phone myself out of a, a, a cardboard and a an old piece of a r clock radio. Yeah, I was like, where, yeah, where did you get that from? And the, and I, I made bike handlebars. There was no full bike. It was just the <laughs> handlebars. Then I went so you just to carry around. handlebars around? <laughs> yeah. So Were you in a wig? That means I'll be on season five of Stranger Things. Yeah, that, yeah that, that probably it probably is what it means. I feel like, yeah, it manif yeah you manifest it and then it becomes true. That's, I think that's exactly it. But I have two questions about Ghostbusters, first of all. Yeah. Number one, do you ride a bicycle in any way? Because I feel like you've made a career riding bikes. No, no, but there is a car in it. Okay. I do. I drive a car in it. Okay, you drive a car. And, and two. Which is different. It's a step up. It's a step up. It is a step up. Because I think I yeah. saw you on the set of It the first day I was there on, on the set. You, it was the scene where, like, you guys were biking into and running up the stairs of the house. And yeah. You, and you guys shot that a bunch of times. And I was like, dude, you've made an entire career riding, awesome, a, riding bike. a bike. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. And then I just it ruined bikes for me. But now I, I, uh, but I bought a bike. I mean, I have to. I, I love riding my bike so now I, that's all I, I just bike around the city now um but yeah what was what was the other question the other question was do you at any point rock a proton pack okay okay we can't say okay all no right. comment okay no comment. other other care there is there are, there are proton packs in the movie it would not be a ghostbusters okay. movie without proton packs okay that's all okay. i'll say We'll take yeah. that. We'll take that. Yeah. And yeah. you're working on some other stuff. I know you've been directing. You had a, a short. So yeah, I, that's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, I'm so excited uh, for people to see it. Yeah, I directed the short and I crowdfunded it. And like, uh, if anyone in this chat uh, ended up donating, that's really amazing. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's kind of like we we the short is done. It's finished. It's kind of in limbo because like we entered into a bunch of festivals. Um, and a lot of the festivals either are getting pushed or canceled. And the problem is, is that some of them are like, I guess festivals, some of them are like world premieres. So like you have to premiere it there for the first time there. Um, so we're waiting to see what festivals are coming along. If TIFF is still going to happen, if mm -hmm. Telluride's going to happen, if all that stuff's going to, I mean, not to say that we're going to get in, but to know, yeah. to, you know, to, to find out. But yeah, I mean, I think the plan is if, it doesn't get in any festivals. It's just, just release it on YouTube. I think that's the plan for right now. Um, but it may just take a few more months and then people will see it. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I, I'm really, really proud of it. And um, yeah, I made that in Vancouver, like in, I don't even remember, January, at the beginning of the year. No, wait, March? When, when did I make, when did we make the short? Uh, I can't remember. Every day is blended into one. <laughs> I don't, I honestly is don't that, remember. Is that Papa a few Wolfhard months ago. What? Is that Papa Wolfhard sitting over there? 
It is. Oh, what's up, man? How you the doing? The man. Hey. Good to see you. <laughs> the man. The man. Now, I know we've got himself. a lot of people watching and stuff. There's a lot of comments. I saw some people from Brazil and Portugal and Italy. Yeah. If you, if you have a question for Finn, we'll get to some fan questions. You can submit them at the bottom. Do it. I did have a question uh, submitted to me earlier uh, from Avery uh, talking about your directing. She said that uh, she's also an aspiring director, uh, just like you. And uh, she wants to know what made you want to direct. And also if, if she, you know, if, if your work on camera has really helped you pursue directing, have you learned anything being an actor that really kind of helped be a director? Yeah, I mean, there's obviously so much to learn. And I feel like every director is still learning, even if they're like 70 years old. So, um, you know, I've only directed, you know, really two things, one thing by myself fully. So, um, but yeah, uh, what made me want to direct was just films, like movies in general. The yeah. thought that you could take creative ideas and like put them onto a screen for everyone else to watch is like really yep. an incredible feeling. Um, and also the other thing, I mean, the thing that really gets me is like being with people collaborating and making something cool to all together, like being with the crew, being with the cast, writing with other people, you know, like bouncing ideas off each other. That's the thing that like is addicting to me is like being able to just be with friends and uh make something together where whether it's you know whatever i mean there's so many things but yeah movies to me that's like it screams that for me so uh yeah like just watching movies growing up and then uh yeah acting i mean has given me so such a leg up in it because i like i i've learned from really amazing filmmakers firsthand uh yeah, yeah. but you know not not to say that like you know, I, I, you know, the plan is for me not to go to film school because if you're an actor, you get to learn, you know, firsthand and you don't get to yeah, do that. But I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're really interested, I mean, there, there's a few ways to go about it. I mean, it's really like what, it's really preference. Like, I, mean, I have some friends that have gone to film school and loved it. I have some friends that have become PAs and learned the same thing, learned through the set and learned everything mm -hmm. kind of firsthand. Um, but if you know nothing about film and you're really interested in it, th there are two ways to go about it. Either you can go to film school and like learn about it that way, education, like, you know, with an education, or you can try to get a job as an actor or as a, someone doing set deck or like whatever. Yeah. Um, there's like a, yeah, there's a few ways to go about it. It's more like, it's, yeah. it's more like. You know, because I just, I got super, a lot of it is luck. Like, I believe that, like, talent is super big and everything. And I, you know, but, like, I'm so lucky that I got Stranger, like, Stranger Things was, like, a, such a fluke. Like, I honestly have no idea how it happened. And uh, uh, I'm very lucky to be in the position. So it's definitely, like, for a lot of people can be, like, pretty discouraging. But yeah, yeah. I feel like if you love it enough um i guess you can keep going with it but yeah i don't know there's so much for me to learn too so yeah. um yeah i don't know well talking about growing up watching movies do you, do you remember the first movie you ever saw or maybe in theaters do you remember what that was um well we you have can like admit a it bunch... if it's a bad one it's okay we're in a safe oh yeah space. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think well I think the first movie my parents took me to when i that i don't even remember the, the one that i don't remember going to but being a baby was spider-man in the theater it was like literally like nice. i was like or spider-man the theater might have been on dvd i'm not sure but like that i think that was the first like real movie you know other than like you know treehouse or whatever um yeah um but uh and then yeah i don't know i, I remember the first the first r-rated movie i ever saw was uh which is the most insane r-rated i mean a lot of it and it wasn't on purpose because I snuck in. It was my, my brother and my dad were watching Team America World Police Amazing. Um, on DVD, like right at, after it came out in like 2005. So that was the first already movie I ever watched. That's where I learned my first line of Spanish, no, no me gusta, when they're going, when he's floating down the stream. He's like, no me gusta. No me gusta. Oh, yeah. We just watched that recently. That movie is so funny, man. Um, so yeah, that was the first, that was the first already movie I watched. Cool, man. Well, let's get to some fan questions, too. We have one. Uh, let's see. Oh, where did it go? 
Uh, ooh, I know people are asking about this. I don't know if we can talk about it, but when will season four of Stranger <laughs> Things be out? Like people are saying maybe October. Do we do we know when to expect it? I mean, we don't know. I mean, I don't know. I haven't. I genuinely don't know. Uh, probably sometime next year, I would think. Mm -hmm. But I like I don't. It. I mean, I can tell you, it's. You know, if something, if a miracle happens, and Netflix is like release the first episode right as it's done um you know but i get the whole thing about netflix is that it's all comes out at once so um yeah i'd probably say sometime next year okay um probably mid next year sometime i'm not i honestly don't know genuinely um but i'd love for it to be out as soon as possible we all we i mean i you know i just talked to the duffers and we're all, all just like so excited to get back so that we can do it because we're all we're all so hyped for it and the duffers are so they're like they're really funny they're like in quarantine like like we've written so much like they're just like this is the first time we've ever gotten a script to netflix on on time <laughs> yeah so uh i mean it's gonna be amazing the season's gonna be amazing but yeah so i'm sure sometime soon it won't be too long uh, Karen wants to know, uh, what was uh, your favorite character that you played? You played some amazing characters, man. I don't know. How do you decide? That's tough. That is tough. Because there's, there's favorites and there's also, like, most fun. You know what I mean? Like, there's favorites. Like, Mike, obviously, is probably my favorite just because of, like, the sentimental value yeah. uh, of it. Like, it being my first thing. But, like, favorite... Uh, like most fun characters like Richie is really fun because I'm just kind of playing an extension of like just playing me but like a hundred times over like super over the top and like just really like <laughs> mm -hmm. you know not as just cracking more jokes and stuff so yeah. Richie um, I did a movie called The Goldfinch and I like had to do an accent so that movie was like super rewarding to do because it was just like a completely new character that I had never done before um and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's like, there's a lot. Of, I mean, the new, the character in, uh, what's called, uh, the new Ghostbusters is also, is also really fun for me to play as well. Um, cause I think that that's the character that's like, I mean, I think people will see it's the character that's most like me. Um, I'm kind of just playing another version of myself again. So, uh, yeah, I don't all know. these years you haven't even been acting. You've just been playing yourself in scenarios. I love it. it. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Except Mike is like, I, I, Mike, I would not call myself similar to. He's very, okay. very okay. intense, um, but also really fun to play because I, I get to be. I mean, part of me though is is kind of like Mike a little bit, like the wanting to be <laughs> like the ringleader aspect and get everyone together and get everyone on the same page. So, but definitely, yeah. Uh, I'm probably more like Richie than Mike. <laughs> uh, someone wanting to know, uh, it's a couple of questions uh, on other non-acting stuff. Someone wanting to know what kind of guitar you have. Another question here, if you still skateboard, is do you, what do you, what are you doing in the free time? There's, yeah, I just, I was skateboarding yesterday, um, with, with a helmet and wrist guards because I don't want to die. Good, good, good. Um, and so that I don't get sued by Netflix if I fall. Um, <laughs> And lose my job. No, um, yeah, I don't know. I've been, yeah, I've been skateboarding a lot in quarantine, and then, yeah, I still, I have a, uh, the guitar I've been playing the most is like this cool '60s, nice. uh, Gibson acoustic guitar, um, that uh, that I really like. But yeah, I have, I have a, a few guitars. But yeah, it's one of them. Now here's a great question. I was actually, I think, I was on set one of these days. But when you were in it. Were you freaked out by uh, Skarsgarden costume? I remember the, the day I was there, he had snuck around and he had came to the back of the video village tent and scared the yeah. entire crew. It was amazing. But yeah, I yeah. Imagine on set, you probably it probably really at that at that time. point when you were on set when we were doing when we were, I remember it was like you were interviewing me and Jade and I think right. Well, yeah, sorry. correct. Oh. Yeah. Hold on, I'm back. Um, yeah, you were interviewing me and Jaden. I, at that point in the movie, I don't think we had met him yet, or not met him, but like seen him in all the makeup. I'm not. I don't remember the timeline. Do you remember if we had seen him? I think so. I know the day before I got there, they officially released the image of him because that was the first time he was going to be out in public. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this was. I we hadn't we hadn't done a scene with him. Like we knew what he looked like from the picture, but we yeah. hadn't seen him in real life. Um, 
And I think after you left, we saw him the next week. And yeah. it is pretty well documented. If you go on YouTube, you can search up it like behind the scenes, like Pennywise or something like that. And it's us talking about Pennywise and not seeing him. There's like a, you know, there's like thing of me and like all the kids talking about what we think he's going to look like. And then the first scene that we shoot is the one where he's like drooling in Jack's face. Um, and then they yelled cut and I take off my glasses and they go, Oh my God. Um, and I was truly scared by him. Uh, but that, yeah. So if you go on, on, on YouTube, you can find like my true reaction of like getting actually scared by him. Amazing. Um, and he tried not to, uh, there's a really funny clip of Jaden and I talking to the camera afterwards and like something knocks over and I'm like, everything's scaring me right now. <laughs> um, it was an intense set. Yeah. But also super fun. Um, yeah. It was probably the best summer of my life. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely was scared by him for, for, for a second. But now, now when we see each other, we're just, we're bros. <laughs> Now, I know we have something else planned to end this with, but do we have time for a couple more questions, or are we? Yeah, one? yeah. Let's do let's do like two more and then do the end. Cool, thing. cool, cool. Let's. Okay, where did these go? Uh, okay. Now, do you have? I, I saw a few of these similar questions. Favorite scenes from Stranger Things, but I like this one too. Uh, what, what's your favorite memory so far from Stranger Things? Do when you look back, anything that really stands out? E yeah. Um. I mean, there's so many things because we've been shooting it for a long time. So I guess that the one that sticks out to me the most is like the first scene we ever filmed. It was the first scene in Stranger Things, which is the Dungeons and Dragons scene. Yeah. Um, and that was the very first scene we shot. And I think it was very deliberate that that was on purpose to, to get us, you know, together and, um, uh, you know, used to each other and stuff and how we worked with each other and uh yeah we just were in that basement all day and uh we were just we would i don't know why but we were just we would laugh so we would just laugh so hard because we were so like excited and the duffers would just like be like what are you guys laughing about and we couldn't answer them like we had no idea why we were laughing but like we knew that it was so like so fun um but yeah that one's really really stands out to me like meeting everyone for the first time really stands out to me. Like I remember meeting uh, every, probably every person on the set for the first time. Um, meeting Gaten for the first time in the audition process and him just coming, coming into the room and going, I have no collarbones, check this out. And then just doing it, doing the thing. Oh, wow. um, and the devil's like, whoa, holy shit. And they're like, that's crazy. What is that? And he, he said the exact same thing in the show. He says a condition, clinocratia dysplasia. Um, and so they just wrote that in. They cast him and then wrote it That's in. That's so cool. Um, so I remember that very, very clearly. I remember Caleb coming into the room and talking about how he'd been on Lion King and stuff. And, nice. Um, but yeah, very, like, I, I would say the most vivid ones are, like, very early on because the other other memories yeah. just feel, like, very recent. Mm -hmm. um, and here, like, let's go season, last yeah, yeah. All right, last question here. We'll get move on. Uh, I like this one. Speaking of, you know, we're all self isolating. We're all away from people. But have you kept in contact with any of uh, your cast members yeah. from either any, you know, any of your projects during the self isolation? Yeah, I try to keep in contact with everyone. Um, I should actually text some people after this. But yeah, no, I, uh, I uh, was talking to Gaten last week. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I've been talking to Joe, Curie. I've been talking to everyone. Um, I've been nice. trying to keep in contact with everyone. And um, all the it kids have been talking. You know, we we haven't really stopped talking to each other since we met each other. So you guys have, like, a group chat? How does that work? Yeah, we have, like, uh, yeah, we have a group chat. Um, and then, uh, like, all the all the it kids have a huge group chat that we just kind of spam each other in. Um <laughs> <laughs> that we probably I don't think we've stopped using since 2016 so Amazing. um yeah well before we wrap up I've been doing this to everyone I've had on because we're all at home we're all surrounded by all of our stuff so I wanted to play a little game of at home uh self-isolation show and tell now do you oh, have an sweet. item you could you could show the class and maybe yeah tell yeah let me story? let me try to find something cool okay um hmm oh hold on Oh, that one, yeah, 
Yeah, that one's cool. I got <laughs> that one is very cool actually. Um Okay. Okay. Here here's here's some cool stuff. Okay. I uh okay. Here is um I did a movie called The Turning. Uh-huh. And the director, Floria, gave this to me. It was, it's the spider that we used in the movie. Not, it's not a real spider, but uh, it's the spider that we used, and she got it in a glass case for me, which is, like, very... Amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really, really crazy. Uh, so I got that, and then here's, like, a... I, I, have, a little, I have a little goldfinch reprint painting. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Um. So I have those two. I have like, I don't know. I've also just been like, I don't know. Here's my guitar. Here's the guitar I was talking about. Hold on. Oh, very nice. Yeah, very nice and golden. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's my cat. Ah. Yeah, that's the. So yeah, and then that I guess that that would be my my show and tell. What else? Is there Thanks. anything else? Show have my you, dad. Have you taken anything? How about like from Stranger Things or it? Any souvenirs over the years that you've? you've yeah, you've let me. Out? There's, there's, yeah, there's one. Oh, where's the, where's the painting? Where's the, uh, the season one painting? I have this really ah! painting. There's paintings stacked up. Here, where's the? You know the season one painting? Remember that one? Or maybe it's back here. This yeah, is the one we need to find. You see it? This one is really cool, actually. Every every year we get a uh, we we get a a kind of gift at the end of the year for Stranger Things. So like season two, they got this cool print of me and uh, Joe Curie and Gaten um, in the tunnel. Yeah, and this is so this is a real painting that someone did. Um, this is for season one. Wow. Um, and we, what's called we I got that season one and I've had it since and that's uh it was hanging on my wall but we took it down and we're gonna try to find another great place for it that one is super awesome everyone got everyone got one that's different so like Natalia and Joe and Charlie have um the same style but it's them in the hallway looking at the burning Demogorgon okay um so everyone has their own one Winona has one that's like her with the lights with her holding the the axe Yeah, it was super. That is a very valuable, super cool thing that I I loved Amazing. for for years. Um, well, you've uh, you crushed the at home show and tell, man. I think that was the best one we've seen yet. So yes, amazing. Woo! Well, Sweet, buddy, man. thank you so much, man, for your time. I really of course. appreciate it. I know anything you want to say before we wrap up? You got a bunch of stuff people can check out. You have a clothing line too. I saw. Are you? Are you yeah, I'm, I'm in the middle of that. Yeah, everyone okay. uh, should should look out for. Um, Oh the dog! Oh the baby! Oh, Ari. That's that's the that's the show and tell. Yeah, there's a yeah clothing line that I'm starting um, with my friend Cole Sparrow. That's that should be coming soon. Mm-hmm. Um, called Holy Names. So look out for that. And then I have a band called the Aubreys. So uh, we'll be doing music with that. And then yeah, look out for the short film and stay yes yeah, stay six feet apart and. Yeah, cool, man. man. Well, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in Toronto next time when I'm there. Let's let's get some lunch or something. Let's do it, man. Well, thanks a lot. Happy uh, self isolation. Yeah, Hi you too, man. For me. Okay, and, I will. Uh, yeah, go go wash your hands now. I guess. All right. right? Yeah, yeah. You too, man. All right, pal. Take care. Later. Thanks so much. See you Bye. later. Bye.